Well, Porto St. John's to the Portuguese has been their second home because this is uh, this is the you know they I don't think they went ashore in Greenland. The only place they would come ashore is St. John's, and uh, you know whatever uh, money they had, uh, they would spend in the local stores. They would go uh, in the old arcade. Uh, they didn't speak the language, so they would go in with catalogs from Eaton's. Uh, at that time, uh, Woolworths, which was close to the waterfront, the old uh, Woolworths, they had this uh, machine that would take uh, photographs. What you'd pay 50 cents or a dollar yeah. or whatever it was uh, in those days. You put a few coins in, and so they would get uh, dressed up and their best clothes, you know, that they had, the fishermen, and they would come and take their photograph, uh, which uh, they would send home to their wives or to their girlfriends to show that they were still in very good condition after, uh, you know, a hard, uh, a very hard trip. So the Woolworth was a very busy place when the fleet was in because this was a sort of a custom that they had of, uh, of doing that. Yeah. I don't think there's uh, people that are in their 60s or, or more uh, all had a game of football. You know, they would come uh, either on the waterfront or they would go uh, on the on the football fields and join in with the locals to uh, to have you know a good uh, a good game of uh, a football on the um, uh, while while they were in the community. So this is this is one of the points, which one of the strong points. Or sometimes they even went in and traded. Um, they would make little model ships on board, uh, and they would trade them against merchandise in the arcade. And I know that uh, uh, that happened with uh, former Mayor John Murphy. That uh, he had uh, little boats from 20, 30 years ago, or, right. or more than that, because right. the White Fleet's been finished in '74. So they would come in, and a very nice anecdote is. Uh, you would see Portuguese fishermen when they were tying up on the south side of the harbor, walking in the town in the midsummer with large hip rubber boots, uh, and everybody was saying, "Oh, the poor Portuguese! They have uh, don't have money to buy shoes." This wasn't at all. This was uh, this was the case was that in those boots they had uh, brandy, which they were hiding in the boots. That they would go and walk into town and uh, sell the uh, sell the aguardente that they had, uh, which was stuffed inside of the boots, which they had several bottles stuffed, and they'd be hard, you know, having a hard time walking. But it wasn't a question of shoes; it was just a question of convenience. <laughs>